A very good evening, Team Zimbabwe, and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. We continue to take a look on what is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe, Africa, and beyond. And let us see what Varakashi are saying. This is Rutendo Matinyara Rezan PF Murakashi, and also an ally of President Emerson Nangagwa, or President Nangagwa's apologist. He has um, weighed in in terms of South African coalition, and he is actually accusing ANC of choosing whiteness over its own. This is what he says, and um, we need to take a look onto this statement right over here. So, Rutendo says more than 63% of South Africans voted left, but the ANC has chosen to stick to the middle of placket capitalism's interest in exploiting South Africa's resources and people. This is the point right here. So, if you take a look from this statement, if you go to what DA leader Stan Wiesen has said, he said, we are not going to work with the leftists. We are not going to work with MK. We are not going to work with the EFF. This is what he said. And the ANC then come to announce that they are willing to, to, to have a, a, a coalition, uh, a, a, a unity government, right, with the DA, with MK, with any other political party or organization under their own terms. And... Um, ZANPF people, they've come to respond to these issues. This is the reason why these people are unsettled. They are not happy with the decision taken by Cyril Ramaphosa so far because they regarded Cyril Ramaphosa as their own puppet, as their own person, and they wanted him to do their own bidding. But it seems as if tables are turning at this point in time, things are changing, and um, there is a lot of trouble and a lot of problems right there. So taking a look, they say they've decided not to change the apartheid status quo, a choice that clearly says that they will continue to outsource their government to a minority non-elected group who dispossessed, exploited, and enslaved the people of South Africa uh, after funding apartheid. So this is what they've said. Personally, in my own view, I don't see the reason why um, a GNU can uh, be rejected because at this point in time, this is the best thing which might happen, but they want to limit DA powers. They cannot give DA so much powers. For example, if they are going to say, okay, we need a vice president, and the vice president is not coming from the ANC, they will need to find a vice president not from the DA. They will need to find a vice president from any other part, political party. But here's the problem. The problem is that the EFF is rejecting to be part of this coalition, which means there is a great possibility that a vice president will come from the DA. Also, other reasons why the, uh, these play, black parties, EFF and MK, might be refusing to join is because maybe a proposal might have been placed to say, okay, we are going to have a DA candidate as the vice president since they came second in the, in, in, in the, in the election. And uh, some people might say, okay, so let us take that, that position is 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 um the rightful position so they said their decision is to continue to let the banks uh profit from sabotaging the rent at the expense of the poor is the anc continue to turn a blind eye to black and white corruption and cherry pick which blacks they throw under the bus so they've opted to maintain a system where those of a fairer race are above the law is they once again forgive a white foe who never apologized but refused to forgive their own in rejection of transformation and the redress to maintain the apartheid order. Taking a look what um, happened to Jacob Zuma, it said that Sir Ramaphosa refused even to, 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 to um, actually allow Jacob Zuma participate in this election. He could have done so simply by, um, by, by pardoning Jacob Zuma so that he washes away the the the, the 15 month jail term which prohibited jacob zuma to be part of parliament he could have done so um and that was going to create a better environment even this coalition thing was going to be much easier but they opted to leave jacob zuma out of everything else and this is the reason why we are in disagreement with Cyril ramaphosa the way he has treated um uh, his own black people uh, as compared to the way they've treated to the white people, uh, there is a problem there. So they've opted to maintain a system where those of um, fair race are, um, are, are simply above uh, the, 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 the law, and that is so wrong. 
you see whites will never be treated all the same i do not care personally what uh, people will say about this um my position but uh, in, in this case i stand um with with black south africans because they have rejected several times um any initiation of a government which involves the da taking a central part so in 1994 it was a compromise uh, and um this is the right time where the ANC was supposed to take its position in terms of making sure that the people, black people get land to make sure that the black people will actually have black emancipation in South Africa, but it didn't happen. So, Sir Ramaphosa in his speech, um, as, the president, uh, as, the, as the president says, there is, no need, uh, there is a need to unite the nation through political power sharing. And uh, this is despite that the, the fact that white people who control capital, land, and politics in the Western Cape have never shared their stolen loot, land, and political power at any point in 370 years. A clear indication that they don't believe in sharing. In fact, whites have not only refused to share, but instead have orchestrated to take black, uh, black political power to entrench their domination. So if the DA had not leaked some, 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 some letters, if they had not been leaked from the DA, it was going to be a better position. But now that certain letters have been leaked to say there was an instruction uh, for, 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 for the team within the, the DA to deal with, um, with, with ANC decisively after they've gotten into power. That is the reason why there is believed could, there is a problem because they want to use the ANC to propel themselves to the top. So you would see that coming uh, the next election, ANC will fail to get majority, and this is the opportunity the DA will want to use because they will be in a position of influence. They can influence everything the same way they've done it in um, in the Western Cape, there, where the, the allegations of vote rigging and some evidence is being brought, and the the, the, the IEC turns a blind eye and ignores um, such a position. So you'd see that. Um, this is the problem, and um, this is something which Sir Ramaphosa need to carefully consider. There was no need for Sir Ramaphosa to say, I'm not going into a coalition with these black parties. They would have gone into a coalition made with AFF, have a conversation, and agree on certain terms. It was going to be a very uh, a, a better option than to have the DA. The DA would have uh, remained in the, in the opposition. So, uh, Matitara says, with this CODESA, type compromise, whites have once again won the soul of South Africa as the ANC has once again chosen to maintain apartheid in the name of non-restitutive non-racialism. It's clear at this point that non-racialism means no reparations for the victim. Uh, preservation of unjust white enrichment and continued enslavement of Africans in the name of respect for white uh, property rights. And um, this effectively means the maintenance of apartheid order which will allow the whites to consolidate white power as happened over the past 10 years. The whites who again use their wealth uh, and to sanction South African economy, sabotage the ANC ability to deliver services while stalling transformation long enough to ensure regime change in the next election. This is what Rotende is saying. So I believe that uh, this is the same argument with the one you see when EFF are giving, when MK are giving to say, if we are to go in bed with the DA, they will sabotage us, they will make us fail. And years down the line, in 2028, they will be the favorites, they will be the darlings, and they will take control of, um, of, of, of the rivers of power total. And that will plunge South Africa into chaos. So I believe that this is the reason why the EFF has taken a position not to enter into this kind of a GNU, because they do not want to give DA much influence and much power. So we will see what is going to happen. ZANU-PF people, um, they are writing compositions. They are not happy with a decision taken by Sir Ramaphosa to have a GNU with DA. Um, and they believe that Sir Ramaphosa was supposed to compromise and ANC was supposed to, 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 uh, to, to well, was not supposed to compromise. The ANC was supposed to stand on its position to say no GNU and they were supposed to have a, con a conversation about a coalition with um, other parties. But Hans, I was, yeah, if I was to choose between ZANPF and whiteness, I would go for whiteness. But we have to understand that at a certain point in time, South Africa will need to move forward. Or have been said, South Africa will need to move forward, which means there is need for South Africans to find each other and uh, um, make sure that they make a decision. What I know is um, 
if the DA is to get into into a, into a GNU with ANC, what it means is that will be the end of Cyril Ramaphosa. That I can assure you. And um, at this point in time, it's a plus for those who want to see Ramaphosa gone because once you get into that um, GNU, ANC members will come back to bite him. And when they come back to bite him, remember, the South African constitution is clear. If a president leaves power by any means, um, uh, uh, what will happen is the parliament will have to choose again a president. It, it is not um, a straight jacket that the vice president then takes over. No, parliament will come to choose the next president. And that is going to happen. And if the ANC are to unite with the MK and the EFF, they can actually remove um, Ramaphosa at a later stage and install their own president of their own choice. So I believe that um, this is something which um, the AFF, the position they've taken as the AFF is the right position so far because it is going to give them leverage over um, over, over, over DA and the ANC. So this is what is happening. Zanpev is angry. They are not happy with the position taken by uh, Sir Ramaphosa to work with, um, with, with uh, all political parties in a government of national unity. I do not know your thoughts regarding this whole issue. Maybe you need to enlighten me what you think, how you view it, how you see it. Is this the right thing for, for the people of South Africa to do to have a government of national unity? Is this going to benefit the people of South Africa? We wait to see because we have not seen um, how they are going to be performing. We have not seen the, the frameworks of their government of national unit and how they are going to be conducting themselves. So this is what is happening. We'll continue to watch and see what is happening in South Africa.